Sí, pero es que la Tierra fue causada por los humanos. Si ahora fue decir, pero eso estaba diciendo yo, en una de esas probablemente también lo causaron ellos y chamuyo. How did you escape the Zenas? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. Then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Arufia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Aluthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. Are they this dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Aluthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's logs so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Hmm. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and uh, Aspasia, the, the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Before Ted Farrell purged it, the Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach it must have been frustrating. Hmm. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or so? How long? You know your your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now! Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. They're gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad. I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon from her to Gaia. Okay. Okay. You and Derrand okay? The 
something some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing. It's a lot. Even for you. Just try to take it one step at a time. <sighs> Fair enough. If you need anything, just let me know. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift. And to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. <laughs> okay, I can help you find something else. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap maw. Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. I should get back to the. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Okay. No, no. Okay. Welcome back. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. <laughs> Based you know, yeah. on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. That he's not going to cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. Okay. From use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract I still have two more sub functions to get. There is something I'd like to discuss. Bueno, tiene sentido que el acero sea metalero. Okay. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, uh, Reboot Code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. Uh, maybe. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called Control Cores. From machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. 
Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. Not really. We'll do it together. Este dioso, yes. pero no. I'll send you the location of the machines. Okay. I'll let you know when I get close to those Grimhorns. Good. If we can get their control cores, maybe we really can heal the land gods. Estamos aquí en Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn. Buena. Horizon Forbidden West. Y eh, ahora vamos. We're going to Vegas. Y como nos vamos a Las Vegas, hay que <coughs> agarrar cuello largo. El problema es que al parecer tiene una gimmick. Que al parecer la mayoría de los cuello largo han estado con gimmick. Porque este no puedo llegar. Y según he visto, al parecer van a haber monturas por la hora. Y esa sería la forma de llegar acá. Después estuvo este. Que literalmente entra un caldero. Y en el dentro del caldero está este el cuello largo. ¿Cachai? Y no he hecho muchos más, po. Este es uno común y corriente. Este es uno común y corriente. Pero este es como la zona tutorial. Después está ese extraño. Está este extraño. Eh, no he ido a revisar este. Pero ya este es el, el tercero que tiene gimmick, po. Este es el tercero que tiene gimmick. Al parecer la gimmick es que hay que aniquilarlo. Hay que derribarlo. Con este. Y después hay que repararlo. Entonces, lol, ya. Yeah. Hay, ball hay ballesta en los dos lados. Literalmente un ancla, claro. Ah, estoy de con la otra. Sí, sí. Ok, otra. Pero igual, no, no hay otra. Fuck. Es que acaba de venir de la otra bro. ¿Dónde va, eh? Adelante hay uno, este ya lo ocupé Déjame pasearme por la zona donde te pasé esto Está ahí arriba, ¿o no? Una de esas zonas es muy amplia Acá hay una Acá está la otra Podría ir una acá O acá, pero... O sea, hay máquina Así que tiene sentido. A menos 
que hay un altura y no me había dado cuenta esto no parece oh where is yep I can Come here, son. partidario de no malgastar las cosas Uy, te lo saqué yo perdió, pero ¿dónde? Parece que ahí había algo de rayo. Ahí está. Wait. Esa no es la cola. ¿Dónde perdiste la cola? Uy. Creo que ahí mismo está. No, no, no. Oh god! Se rodeó. Será botarlo. Uy, lo que quiero ver si saco. Bueno, 
déjame, me deja mantenerlo. Déjame tirarle agua. que sigue eh, déjame recorrer un poco acá eh, con esto tengo suficiente ya oh no específicamente lo que no necesito Tengo la membrana. En cuanto al otro, no tengo la mínima idea de dónde dejo la, la cola. Así que, no hay nada que pueda hacer ahí. Ahora, es súper interesante la idea de derribar a un cuello largo. Es súper interesante la idea de que el cuello largo haya cooperado. Porque donde estábamos ante nosotros, ni siquiera existía, eh, era inconcebible el hecho de derribar una de estas máquinas. Y en esta lo hicieron, pues, ¿cachai? Entonces, como. Cool. Calma. Igual el medio pique debe ser otra, otra gente completamente así. ¿eh? Son gemelos. Well, not for me, it's not. And you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. So the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life? Succumb to deadly delusion. <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, definitivamente te un bardo. You're not typical mm. delvers. That's for sure. Si es tu problema que casi se ahogó. Yeah, esto es lo que necesito. Esto es lo que necesito. Yeah, hardly Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. 
Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. Mm -hmm. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. Yeah, por fin lo que necesito para poder respirar bajo el agua. You got a name? Hey, Lord. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. <laughs> Went off for the gun. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. What are you doing here? Partner? so important down there that you risk your life. Uh, uh well, <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Ah, ustedes son los que ocupan estas cuestiones. Now, yes, but, 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 with the proper spark, these magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air. Así que ustedes son los que. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. Así que tú soy el que tiene esto. Yo tengo eso, po. Lo he obtenido en la ruina. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here 40 odd years ago. He he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the west. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. He took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver and a true showman. Will I miss him? But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So these embers project images? Paintings <clears throat> of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. So they had a goal out there. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below, as you'll see. If you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old gramps footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption actually and not so easy. That uh, right, again. What happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, games and coins and promises of jackpots. Entonces, son hologramas de, de casino. That's kind of cool. Sound and then 
An explosion of water erupted from the floor. Ay, habrá un plesi allá abajo porque ya peleé contra un plesi. Al final lo quebranta ola o quebranta marea, no era tiburón, era un plesi. Entonces no, no estaba inundado de por sí. And got so far. Amen. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osirum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. Viste, sabía que vos de dónde era dónde conseguía para para respirar bajo el agua. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule on the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Con la flecha, cuando disparé bajo, eh, cuando disparé hacia el agua, después hay un desvío. O creo que simplemente pierden la potencia y ya no son... Ya no son evidentes. Ya no son evidentes. O sea, evidentes. Ya no son lo suficientemente buenas. Sense behind and you come along and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows back when it was. Him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the light. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. It bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. Sometimes, a dream has to die. Mentira! Barbanera, el mismo que dijo. <laughs> Los sueños. Los sueños nunca mueren. This dream, Morlands, is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. 
What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have a lot of special seating, premium ale, the works. Moreland will do his, his light spectacle thing. Uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails, and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> it's a nice thought. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, put on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Yeah, yeah. Morland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire, showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure. The smoothest baritone. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. only worth you. That. And you? Me. Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? Those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> no, they don't. <sighs> so Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. And Moreland built that blasted thing. Here we got himself drowned twice. You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'm always willing to. Okay. What can I do for you, partner? This thing now. I've got everything I need to build the, uh, the incredible diving mask. Nice. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. Workbench is all yours. Whoa. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap while wow, we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Hmm. Wait, a flash of red? A uh, red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Hmm. Okay. I didn't get a look at them. Uh, this is it. This thing works. Yeah, boy. O sea, en el juego anterior no podía nadar abajo. <risa> uh. Uy. Esto es un holograma. No es, no es de real. No es lo más cómodo del mundo el sistema de... de buceo se ve cool hay que decirlo pero no es lo mejor del mundo
cerrada también, está cerrada, está cerrada. Uh, looks good though. El hecho de que esto está aquí, eso quiere decir que eventualmente se va. Sí, que esté todo lo de la escalada. Puede que al terminar con la opción de Poseidón, este lugar se vacíe. Ese sonido no estuvo nada bueno. No, pero este lugar va a ser mejor por exploración una vez que esté vacío. ¡Un Plessy! ¿Viste? Interesante. Entonces, ¿no hay el verdadero combate submarino? ¿Es sigilo submarino? Eso rojo. Está buena la música acá, hay que decirlo. Ya lo hice Ah, ya yeah. Ahora caché de dónde viene Poseidón Y por qué no puedo avanzar A ver quién es para acá Por si acaso no. Ah, ya, ya aquí adentro. Nice. Ah, el domo es... Es Vega, Vega. 